Hi, my name is Mary Dulden. I'm a urology consultant in Yorkshire uh, and today I'm going to talk to you about hematuria. Uh, hematuria in layman's term is blood in the urine. Uh, it used to be defined, uh, categorized into various forms such as uh, dipstick uh, hematuria, macroscopic hematuria, microscopic hematuria, macroscopic hematuria. All those, all those terminology have been uh, removed and now we just talk about visible and non-visible hematuria. If you have visible hematuria, uh, it is more significant than if you have non-visible hematuria, uh, mainly because with visible hematuria the chance of finding a sinister pathology such as cancer is a lot higher. Uh, the figures I generally quote are about uh, the risk of bladder cancer is about 20% and the risk of a renal cancer, whether this is a urothelial cancer or a uh, renal cancer in itself, is about 5%. Uh, going on to non-visible hematuria, this is very common and is often found on routine dipstick, especially for patients who have diabetes. Uh, asymptomatic uh, non-visible hematuria has a, a risk of us finding some form of pathology in about less than 1%. If you have a symptom associated with your non-visible hematuria, the chance of us finding a pathology goes up to about 5%. Um, generally, if you have any form of hematuria, uh, this generally does not require any hospital admission and can be managed in the community. The only real reason to be admitted is if you're unable to pass water because of the hematuria, in which case we, you, we would manage that with a catheter. Uh, if you if you do have hematuria, you should seek medical advice in the form of your general practitioner, who would then refer you on to the hospital where you will be investigated as part of the two-week urgent cancer pathway. This will involve involve some form of imaging of your kidneys, uh, either in the form of an ultrasound scan or a CT scan, and some form of telescopic examination of your bladder, such as a flexible cystoscopy. Uh, so that's hematuria in a nutshell.